So I'm going to be showing you my retro game collection thing. I've got uh, a nice little collection I uh, thought I'd show it to you. So I see. let's start with the systems here. So, you know, right here we have a black GameCube with a matching black Game Boy Player. Uh, I have a Dreamcast here. Not all of my systems, by the way, work. Uh, all the systems I have on display work. So, see, I can turn on the GameCube. The Dreamcast here uh, works. Uh, if we go up the shelf, uh, this is just an old Lego bench that I think was custom made. I don't know if this was manufactured or made, but hey, it works perfectly for this. Um, up here I have another Lego Duplo sheet lying downwards. So these have a flat surface to lay on. Uh, this is my PS2 Slim, which, you know, these all work. Over here is, I don't think you can really call this guy retro. This, oh boy, the memories I have playing this guy. Uh, this is a Model E Xbox 360. Uh, I've had this since I was in high school. Uh, and I used to stay up till 4 a.m. every night with my friend on Xbox Live playing Halo 4 and Borderlands 2. Wonderful little system. All these are hooked up to this pretty massive CRT, like here's my hand, uh, Jensen CRT. Uh, this guy's going over composite, this guy's going over component, composite, and RF. That uses up all the inputs I have for this TV. Right down here is the Wii. I haven't felt like plugging it back in because, well, I almost never play this guy. This is a first generation Nintendo Wii, so it will play the GameCube games. Uh, it's supposed to. It's not mounting the GameCube discs. They are a mini DVD. Uh, so they're smaller than the actual Wii discs. So that's why I own a GameCube. It's actually the reason I went out and bought one. But yeah, there's that guy. Here is my Model 1 Sega Genesis. You know, turns on. I don't play this guy too much. Um, don't have a killer game for me for this guy yet. I'm trying to track down a cheap copy of Truxton. Still working on that. And all of these systems, uh, so these two, the Genesis and the Wii over there, are both hooked up over composite to this 50-inch rear projection TV. It's, it's big. This is the spare parts bin, which has a uh, cables from my Genesis 3, uh, and a old, kind of broken, original Game Boy. Sad that that thing died on me. Uh, so, it's spare parts are sitting in here. Uh, guess I need to harvest parts from it. As well as an extra link. Uh, this does have my link cable, and it's an extra... It's a combo cable. Uh, it's a link cable and a get connected cable for the GameCube. Up here, I have my PS2 stuff. So, I currently only have one controller. Uh, memory card, 8 meg. And I currently only have three games, uh, GTA San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, and Crazy Taxi. This game's great. We go over here. Here's my Dreamcast stuff. I have two controllers. I picked up the second one because they're, they're cheap. Uh, VMU. I have batteries are sitting back here. Don't have batteries in it. Why bother? I currently only have two games. I'm trying to get a copy of Revolt for it. Uh, so I have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six and Doom, no, not Doom, Quake 3 Arena. Uh, they're good games. Moving up, I have some of my 360 games. These are most of my physical games I have, so GTA V, the reason I bought the system, Halo 4, BL2, Stick of Truth, Skyrim. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. I am missing Wolfenstein's The New Order. Uh, my friend's borrowing that. Yeah. Uh, in the back, I have a wired controller. Here's my main controller I use for it. I have the chat pad on it because this is also my media box down here that I used to watch things on. 
extra controller. Uh, that's the Xbox stuff. We go over, uh, we get to GameCube, kind of obviously, here's the DK bongos. Here's the controller I got with the system, black wired. It's not the one I use. Here's a cheap one that I picked up, or cheap. Here's my controller that I use. This is a WaveBird wireless controller. Uh, here's the receiver for it. Here's a memory card. I do have an extra one it's lying around. Uh, that's where I keep backups of my save games that are on that card. Over here is my games. So this here is the boot disc required to use the Game Boy player and the manual all in its box. I don't have the slip cover for it, unfortunately. My absolute favorite platform here, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Here's Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Donkey Konga, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Monkey Ball 2. This is a very nice game. Kirby Air Ride, another great one. Pac-Man vs. and Pac-Man World 2. Don't bother with Pac-Man World 2. Uh, Pac-Man vs. is a great Get Connected game. Uh, I'll have a video coming out at some point talking about Get Connected uh, in the original Sims. And in back is my Get Connected cable. And here's the top of the shelf. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll go from oldest to newest and not newest. So starting off here is a Game Boy Pocket. Uh, I have a few games for this guy. Uh, I got these two with the original Game Boy when I bought that thing, so PGA will European Tour. The original Tetris. Uh, I got Pokemon Blue from a friend of mine for like five bucks. Here's a Game Boy Camera. Uh, I have the box for it as well. Different color box, but whatever. Over here is a Game Boy Color. So I have Donkey Kong Country. GTA 2, which has some very weird walking and driving mechanics on how you use the D-pad and buttons to move. It's kind of a pain. Pokemon Gold, which is a backwards compatible game. So it's designed to work with color, but it will work on the older Game Boys. Over here is my original Game Boy Advance. So I got Fire Red, Leaf Green, one of these Pokemon video cards. Lilo and Stitch 2, nice little game. Cartoon Oak Speedway, played the crap out of this game as a kid. And Pokemon Minch, uh, Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team. Uh, and here's my AGS 001 SP. I got this for my birthday in like 03 or 04. So this is honestly what started it all for me. Moving over, we have a DS Lite, DSi, original 3DS, uh, DS Action Replay. I have the box for these two. I bought this used, so didn't get a box, but I got these brand new when I was a kid. Uh, there are the boxes, and here is some of my software for these systems. So this is my only physical game. I have three, so I've downloaded a few to it. This is Pokemon Moon. We have Heart Gold, Black, Diamond, Mario Kart DS, The Rescue Team, Brain Age, WarioWare DIY. Wonderful game. Highly recommend this. You get to make your own games. Mario Party DS, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, uh, an old Club Penguin game, Pokemon Ranger, kind of meh. Uh, this is a Uno, Skippo, and what is that? Uno Free Fall. Weird uh, kind of games that I got when I was a little kid. This is Indiana Jones, uh, the original adventures, Lego Indiana Jones. Triple Knot, uh, Looney Tunes Suckamuck, Nintendo Dogs, Sonic Rush, and a German copy of the Nintendo DS web browser for the DS Lite. Yeah, I have a video about this guy that I just need to upload. And here's the Genesis 3. This is my backup Genesis in case the Model 1 dies. Got Mercs. Here's Sonic 2. Mortal Kombat doesn't strike a Game Genie, and Virtua Eraser. And back over here by the big 50 inch is my two Genesis controllers and a lava lamp. So yeah, that is my current collection. Uh, if you want any tips on collecting, uh, collect for a system you like. That's pretty much all I can say. 
Uh, for instance, I don't have anything for some obscure systems like the 3DO, CDI. There's nothing on there I want to play, so I'm not going to spend money to collect for those systems that I don't even that don't even have games that I like. So, yeah, collect for something that you're maybe nostalgic for. For me, that's this guy, and I never owned a GameCube as a kid. And that's what I like collecting for. It has some very good games. PS2 has some nice ones. Dreamcast, got Dreamcast, because why not? Uh, and of course, the 360 is just a holdover. Uh, I don't collect for the 360 really, because I have an Xbox One and 360 isn't that old. But I have fond memories playing a crap ton of games on it until 4 a.m. with my friends, so that's why I still have all this stuff, because I'm not selling it. Uh, and, you know, the original Game Boy and all that stuff. So just collect for what you like to play. That's really all I can say. If you like GameCube, collect for that. If you like Dreamcast, collect for that. If you like the old MS-DOS games, collect those. So that's my tip. Don't go out and just collect. try and collect everything unless you want to. Collect for what system you like the most. So yeah, there it is.